the same thing can actually be explained through the trading account. In fact, when we ascertain gross profit, uh, we, we prepare a trading account at the end of the year in order to ascertain the gross profit. What is the format of the trading account? In the books of the sole proprietor, trading account for the year. This is trading account is for a period. Assuming that we are preparing it for a year, trading account for the year ended 31st March, whatever. So we have, how does it, the trading account is an account. So it has a debit side and a credit side. It has no date column, mind you, because the trading account is for the year, prepared at the end of the year. On the debit side, on the debit side, we have an opening stock, opening stock of the goods. Purchases, less returns. So opening stock plus purchases. Purchases is always net of returns. Goods purchase, less return outward, less purchase return. So you have purchase return plus all direct costs. Like we said, it could be wages, it could be um, custom duty, insurance, etc. Paid on the goods purchased, carriage inward, etc. So to direct costs. So opening stock plus purchases on the credit side, we write by closing stock. Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. This is what we had done in the equation plus direct costs. And then we have sales less returns here. So sales net effect of the equation is being presented in an account form. In an account form. What is the format? To opening stock, to purchases less returns, to direct cost, by sales, by closing stock. What you get is gross profit balancing figure transferred to profit and loss account. Of course, if we get a gross loss, if the cost of goods sold is more than sales, then we would get a gross loss and we would write it here as by gross loss carry to trading, carry to profit and loss account, transfer to profit and loss account. So let us just see, we have opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock, giving us This is what, this is actually the goods, the cost of goods plus again we have direct costs plus direct costs. So opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock minus closing stock plus direct costs. And on this side we have sales. So sales minus this gives us gross profit which is exactly as we had discussed before. We've got another item here that is buy goods lost by fire. When goods are lost by fire or there is any other, not necessarily lost by fire, any kind of abnormal loss of goods, abnormal loss of goods, any abnormal loss of goods is brought to the credit side of the trading account because we want to find out the gross profit. What is the gross profit? Goods sold and compare it with the cost of goods sold. If goods have been lost by fire, they cannot be included as a part of the purchase cost. So we remove it from the cost of goods sold. <clears throat> we shall discuss this again in detail 